Hey guys, what's up everybody? Welcome or welcome back again to another video from the Apex Predator Billiards Club. My name is Apex Elenio and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about playing an end game safety from a tough but crucial position in the game of either nine ball, eight ball or 10 ball. Have you ever been left this situation where the cue ball is in this half of the table or near to the middle of the center field and we have our final ball which could either be the 10 ball from a 10 ball game, the 8 ball or the 9 ball from either of the disciplines and you're trying to figure out should I go offense if possible or should I go defense and if you decide to go defense how do you play defense and if you decide to go offense how could you play offense in this video we're going to be talking about Apex's three ways or four ways maybe if we can find them out about how we can play a safety or construct a offensive defensive shot from a position like this and some other ones all right so if this is the first time here on the channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button below turn on your post notification bell to be notified when i post a new video or a new lesson and don't forget to like and share the content all right so i'll see you in the next clipping all right guys so the situation that we have on the table here is that we our opponent could have been playing a particular shot they may have missed the shot and so this is where they left us eight ball is high up onto the end rail near to the middle diamond and the cue ball is all the way out here so let's first look at an offensive defensive opportunity that i was exposed to a few years ago all right so the situation is what we can do here is that we can actually call the eight ball into this side pocket if we're playing the offense defensive shot on this side or we can call the eight ball in this side pocket here if we're playing the offensive defensive shot on this side and so what's going to happen is that we're going to be playing uh, a little bit more than half of the eight ball so we're going to be banking the ball towards this pocket but we're not going to be banking it exactly we're going to be trying to catch this part of the rail here and come one rail two rail three rail and perhaps get into the side pocket here now if it is that we don't catch the side pocket we may catch either here and go up back onto the rail or we can catch here and go somewhere in the middle of the table while the cue ball comes back down here leaving our, our opponent tough from this position you cannot ask for much you can either ask to get lucky or you can ask to play a very top shot on your opponent so let's get into the execution of this shot all right guys so you're in this position you just gotta remember that it's a tough position and the only thing that you have to do here is just hope and do your very best so let's see here we go through the whole entire shot routine chalk or a cue find the line of aim imagine the shot going into the pocket all right staying positive and hoping for the best all right now my table has an older version of the cloth so it's a bit slow so i may not be able to execute that one two three four wheel safety for you in this video but in the future provided that i have a better cloth and a better table then i will be able to do that for you but let us see how close we can get so position that i'm in i'm going to call the eight ball in the side pocket all right if it's nine ball obviously you don't call a shot and if it's 10 ball you call a 10 ball in the side so let's get it here let's see what we can do all right let's see how close we can get so down here half of the eight ball playing it with tops very close very close and in my first try we got the eight ball in to the side pocket that is absolutely fantastic if you can pull off a shot like that but funny enough even though it is not a part of your imagination this is something that i've learned many many years ago and of course i've tried to execute this shot to the best of my ability so let's see if we can execute this eight ball shot on the other side of the table
guys so we're going to try to make the shot into this side pocket here so let's make sure that it works best when the eight ball is very close to the rail and it's around the middle diamond So half of the eight ball, little bit above center. Let's see how close we can get. Okay. Ooh, and that sometimes too can happen, all right? But that's the whole process of playing the shot. You try it until you can see the effects of how the table plays. But that is also a likely scratch. But from where you were, that would have been the best option for us. So let's see if we can do it once again. So we're gonna place the eight ball back here. Two ball right back into the center of the table. Half of the eight ball guys above center, banking it towards here, over banking it I should say, and hoping to get into the side pocket. We almost got the bank and we almost got lucky. So let's see again one more time. It's a part of the practice process, guys. This is just creative thinking when you're in tough positions. So you've just got to make the necessary adjustments and put some time in on the table and try to get a feel for the shot. This is not a systematic shot. This is a feel shot. All right guys, so that was my closest attempt on this side of the table, but you saw from my first attempt, uh, it went straight into the side pocket. So it's just a matter of just putting some time on the table and getting used to this field shot. So hopefully you add some creativity to your game. Let's look at the next defensive shot. All right guys, so now we are back to situation number two. What can we do apart from that three real bank into the side? That's a very tough, feel shot how about something more intentional like a more constructed safety and so this safety that i'm about to teach you calls to me my mind efren bata reyes the greatest safety kick shot pool player in the history of the world you should definitely look him up if you are not aware of who this man is and so in a couple of his clippings you would see that he plays what is known as a thin safety shot where he barely moves the eight ball in this case, leaving the eight ball around the same area here and bringing the cue ball maybe one, two, three, four reels sometime all the way down here, leaving your opponent with the same shot as you had had. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. All right, so the aim here is to focus on playing the eight ball as thin as possible. All right, the thinner you play the eight ball is the more energy the cue ball will have. And of course, the eight ball will not move as much. Now, when I was doing this, I often had a lot of problems hitting the eight ball thin. I would sometimes miss the eight ball really close. So I came up with a little thing in my mind, a little system in my mind, in which I could find a reference for my aiming. And so I decided to aim at least a half a ball outside of the circumference of the eight ball. And that should get me touching the eight as thin as possible. So let's see how close we can get on this. The aim is leaving the eight ball very close to that rail and bringing the cue ball one, two, three rails or one, two, three, maybe four rails all the way down here. So let's see if we can execute this shot a couple of times. All right. So first you do is identify the edge of the eight and just imagine a half a ball away from that edge. And you're just going to be putting in this case a little bit of left spin. All right. 
So set it up, guys. Focus on the safety. Hitting the eight ball as thin as possible. Half a ball outside the edge. All right, so you can see here that uh, that is not the best one. Opponent is left topped. If it's a case where that's the only ball on the table, that would obviously be a sellout. But if there were other balls on the table, maybe we could construct a safety. So let's see if we can hit that eight ball a bit thinner. That hit a bit thick. All right, this is a very tough shot, guys. So let's see if we can at least do it once. Half a ball outside the eight. A little bit of right spin here. Barely touching the eight. And this is awesome. Really, really nice. Really, really nice safety here. Our opponent is left with a tough back cut on the eight. Even though it's makeable, it is still very, 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 very tough. All right. And from the position that you were, you're obviously going to have to accept or be grateful for this. But let us see if we can do it at least a little bit tighter and at least barely moving the eight. Let's place our eight ball back here. Okay, and let's put it back into the center. This time we're gonna focus on hitting that eight ball really thin. So let's go, let's go a little bit more than a half a ball outside the circumference. Have to be careful guys. Remember that you're using left spin so this cue ball is gonna squirt to the right. So you've gotta aim way outside the circumference guys in order for you to compensate for the squirt of the cue ball to clip that edge. Very tough shot, guys. And that's a very nice shot here. I'm back down on the end rail. And again, my opponent is left tough. All right, so that is safety or defensive shot number two, right, in which you can actually construct something out of nothing. Let's now look at the equal separation method. All right guys, so now we're gonna be looking at how we can play another defensive shot from this crucial position here that our opponent has left us in. We have looked at an offensive defensive shot where we play a three rail back into the side and perhaps depending on the table speed, we could get even a four rail safety out of it. I wasn't able to execute it in this video due to the conditions of my cloth because it's a bit slow, but it's definitely a possibility. We've also looked at the fact of playing a thin safety coming around a couple of rails, leaving the eight ball all the way up in that area and getting the cue ball all the way down here for a tough shot for our opponent. So now we're going to be looking at leaving our opponent a tough offensive shot by playing what is known as Dr. Dave's equal separation safety. So now what we're going to be doing here is trying to bring the eight ball to this side of the side rail here and bring the cue ball on this side here, leaving our opponent a bank shot either in the side or in the corner. Now, one of the things about this is that a lot of persons often tend to use a little bit of spin when you're playing the shot. And so what the spin does is that if it is that you apply unwanted side spin, when it catches the eight ball, it tends to pick up speed off the second rail coming out a bit too far and even if the eight ball is on the long rail here you still leave your opponent with a cuttable shot so you want to make sure that you do not apply any spin and you try your very best to hit at least half or a little less than half of the eight ball so let's look at how this shot is played here all right so equal separation equal separation okay let's focus here find a half of the eight ball this is almost aiming towards the circumference all right maybe a here of right just a here barely but don't put too much let's see if you can get it on that side right there all right and so there you can see that our opponent here is left with a bang shot this time they can either decide to go into the side or into the corner but of course from the position that you were this is not a bad position to be in all right so if they make the shot congratulations well done but at least you have an opportunity to come back to the table from where you were let us see if we can get it a little bit tighter by bringing the eight ball onto the side rail here all right so let's put it back right here okay 
and come on this side here. So let's try to get it a bit tighter. And that is really, really very good safety from where you were. Your opponent has a bang shot. Even if it's makeable, at least you have a chance to get back to the table. So let's see maybe what our opponent would do if the opponent was me. So just get down and try to bank this ball here. And a wow. Amazing. Your opponent got lucky in playing that shot. But the whole idea, guys, is for this video is actually to show you the creativity that you can come up with in playing your defensive shot when you're left in a very tough and crucial position. So uh, without further ado guys, I hope that you like this video, this uh, knowledge out there. It is out there, Dr. Dave uh, YouTube channel has all of this. This is just me showing you my audience the ways in which you can construct a opportunity to win a rock or to win a match when there seems to be no way out, all right? So, of course, do take care until the next time, guys, we look at another lesson in either the defensive department, the offensive department, department or the positional route department of playing professional pool. Do take care until next time. If it's Selene, signing out. Take care. Bye. Next level.